far and oh my gosh Pokemon has got to stop today I'm back with another episode of Pokemon news and we've got even more information about the upcoming games uh, being Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon uh, Alpha Sapphire okay so let, let me get this straight okay let me just get my head let me just get my head straight so I can talk to you guys about this uh, last night the Korean the official Korean Pokemon website accidentally uh, posted He's paying, or maybe not accidentally, maybe somebody did it on purpose, or someone's getting fired, I don't, I don't know, but they, I guess, accidentally leaked uh, these pictures of these two new Mega Evolutions, being Mega Slowbro and Mega Audino. So we also got some Pokemon, uh, pictures of these Pokemon in-game, so I'll show you guys some of those at the end of the video, but first, I'd just like to talk about these Mega you guys. So first, uh, first off, let's talk about Mega Slowbro, or the Hanukkah Dreidel, or whatever, whatever you want to call him, he's pretty, he's pretty much a Dreidel, so, yeah, that's, that's basically what Slowbro is, but, um, first let's talk about Slowbro, so Slowbro was already a pretty good Pokemon, and it has BST of 490, base stat total, if you don't know what that means, uh, 490, and, uh, that's, it has a very low speed being 30, but the rest of its stats are pretty good, as, it is very bulky Pokemon, it had 95 HP, a 110 defense, and 80 special defense. And also had 100 special attack, and 75 attack, although you never, no one ever uses its attack stat. So, um, uh, Slowbro was a really good Pokemon, mostly because of its ability, uh, Regenerator, which is when you switch out, when you switch out, uh, Regenerator is when you switch out, you heal 33 of your... Or 33% of your maximum HP. So like, when you switch, you regain one third of your HP, basically. So, um, uh, Slowbro also would have had the ability Oblivious and Own Tempo, but Regenerator is by far the best ability for regular Slowbro. But uh, the thing is, now that Slowbro's uh, Mega Evolved, it's probably gonna be much better. Probably it's gonna gain a lot of bulk now that it's got that giant, that giant shell around him. He used to just have that shell on his tail. Now it's all around him, so he's probably gonna gain, gain a ton of bulk. With this new Mega Evolution, but unfortunately, he's now getting Shell Armor, which is, I mean, a pretty obvious ability for this Pokemon. I mean, just look at it. But the bad thing about that is Shell Armor is not a very good ability. It only makes you, uh, Shell Armor basically means you don't, you can't get critical hits on this Pokemon. Like every hit, every move cannot be a critical hit. Like it's just a regular hit. But that's not that good of an ability. And uh, I'm not really sure how much Mega Slowbro is going to be used uh, over regular Slowbro, considering. It'll probably be bulkier than regular Slowbro, but it has a much worse ability, and I mean, it'll still probably be used, because I think it has, does it have a Recover? I'm not really sure. Let me check if it has Recover. Uh, one second. I think it can learn Recover, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it can learn, it can learn Slack Off, I think. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure it has some healing. I don't know. I'm not uh, an expert on this. You can go, oh, I should be, but I think it can learn... I'm not sure if it can, I'm not sure if it can run a healing move. I I sh should know that. I just not really sure. But you know what? That's uh, so Mega Slowbro is gonna be Water and Psychic, just like regular Slowbro. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's gonna be Water and Psychic, just like regular Slowbro. And um, I think that's basically all I have to say about Mega uh, Mega Slowbro. He looks pretty interesting. He looks weird. I guess he's mating with the Shelter on his tail. That that Shelter, that Shelter does not look anything like a Shelter anymore. That's all I know. But you know what? Mega Slowbro, pretty cool Pokemon, I guess, but, uh, not much, we don't know much about it, they didn't say what stats, like, it's boost will go into, but I'm guessing probably it's bulk, like, it's defense and special defense, so yeah, it's basically just gonna be a bulkier version of Slowbro with less ways to heal, I'm pretty sure it learns, like, Slack Off, yeah, 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 I'm pretty sure it learns Slack Off, so, it still can heal, I guess, with that, it, if I'm right, I'm not 100% sure, but now it can't heal with Regenerator, so, I guess, so I'm not sure how much Mega Slowbro is going to be used, I don't think it'll be used a ton, but I think it'll be used, because it's going to be really bulky, this thing, but anyway, that's enough about Mega Slowbro, now let's move on to Mega Audino, alright, Mega Audino, so when Pokemon X and Y first came out, and they announced, but before it came out, when they announced that all these new Pokemon were getting a new fairy type, they said Jigglypuff was going to be a fairy type, they said Meryl was going to be a fairy type, they said Gardevoir was going to be a fairy type, and I'm like, okay, I was thinking about all the other Pokemon that should definitely be fairy types, and I thought Ardino was one of them by far, I thought if Ardino was made in Gen 6, it would just be pure fairy, and it wouldn't even be normal, but X and Y came around, and Ardino was still just pure no normal, it wasn't a normal fairy like I thought it would be, I thought it should be just fairy, but since it was already normal back in Gen 5, I thought it should at least be normal fairy in Gen 6, but it's not. For some reason, Audino is just a normal type. But now with this new Mega Evolution, Audino is going to be a normal and fairy type, which is good, because I'm pretty sure Audino should have had that from, like, the beginning of this generation, but whatever. Now, Audino, at least in single battles, even in double battles, but especially in single battles, is not a very good Pokemon, 
I mean, it has a pretty good HP stat of 103, but all the rest of its stats are mediocre. It has 60, it has a 60 in both attack stats, 50 speed, and its defenses are its defenses are decent. So Audinos are kind of bulky Pokemon. It's got 86 defense and 86 special defense. But um, another thing that made Audino good was it also the one thing that makes actually both of these Mega Evolutions very similar is that Audino also had uh, the ability of Generator, which is probably its best ability. Which Generator is like I said before, when you switch out one third of your HP it is healed. But it also had the abilities Klutz, which means your hold items don't uh, do anything to you, so you can like have a burn orb and it won't burn you, and then you can like trick that onto somebody, I guess. But Klutz is a, a very situational ability. And same with uh, Healer. Uh, it also had Healer, which is at the end of the turn, there's a 30% chance of an ally being healed from a status condition. But this only works for double battles. Like, it has to be the ally that's like next to you, double battles or triple battles. So, like, it can't be in single battles, like an ally that's back in your team. So, that ability was not useful for single battles at all. And now with Mega Audino, it is a normal fairy, like I said. So, finally Audino is getting the fairy type against deserves. It's white, it's like full of snow or something. I guess it got caught in a snowstorm. And it's like a sheep or a cloud. It is, it is I don't know, it looks like, it, it's just, it's too white, okay? But anyway, uh, Mega Audino gets the ability Healer, which means another, it's another Pokemon that's losing a really good ability when it Mega Evolves. But Healer, I guess, is a decent ability in doubles, but I'm not really sure. I'm not, I don't play doubles that much. I play VGC like, a little bit, but not that much. So I don't really know a lot about doubles. But I just know that in singles, Regenerator is a very good ability, and it's not very good that either Slowbro or Mega Audino is losing this ability. But I don't know. Mega Audino and Mega Slowbro are probably both going to get much more bulky for uh, the cost of losing Regenerator, which is a really good ability. But um, I guess that's basically all I have to say, guys, about these new Megas. Um, I will show you guys the in game. How about yeah? I'll show you guys the. Now I will show you guys the uh, pictures of these Pokemon and what they look like in game. All right, guys. So this this is a uh, Mega Audino. What it looks like in game. And guess it's not that much to say about this. I guess it's using like Healing Wish or Heal Pulsar. I don't know what move, move it's using. It doesn't really matter. But uh, I don't think it's like any move that Audino couldn't uh, learn before. But um, so yeah, this is Mega Audino and what it looks like in game. Alright guys, so this right here is what Mega Slowbro looks like in game. As you can see, it still has the uh, two eyes on the back of its shell. But there is actually something interesting I'd like to say about this picture. So, um... Okay, so as you can see, as you saw in the last picture, Mega Audino is facing off against a Blaziken, which as we know from uh, Pokemon X and Y, gets a Mega Evolution. And then we also saw... And, well, actually, I didn't show you guys because it's no different, but there's another picture of Mega Audino where it's in a double battle, probably to, to I guess, show off his new ability or whatever, whatever. It's in a double battle, and it's with Sceptile, uh, Salamence, Salamence, and Combusken. So Combusken, as you know, evolves from Blaziken, and Blaziken, Salamence, and Sceptile are all Pokemon that we now know will get Mega Evolutions in this new game. So that makes me think, I guess a lot of people probably already thought this, but I think this doesn't confirm, but it heavily uh, implies, I guess, not implies, heavily, like, it is a piece, it's a large piece of evidence that uh, Slacking might get a Mega Evolution in this new game, uh, being Pokemon and Mega Ruby and Alpha Samurai. So, uh, that's all I have to say, guys, about these new Mega Evolutions. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please make sure uh, to follow me on Twitch and follow me on Twitter. Also, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.